Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. If you guys remember anything from last year, I used to make these videos all the time. I haven't done any of them this year. This will be a ebook. Now, what is an ebook? Basically, it's just a breakdown of how to run offense or defense in the game. And this is going to be a little bit more in depth. This is going to be a little bit more serious. I'm trying to actually help you guys move the ball on offense effectively with this new offense, the Tight Slots HP Week. Now, I'm currently in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. This goes beautifully with the ebook that I did for jtips.net, which you can buy over on their site for 20 bucks on the bunch offset. And then I'm actually going to go over to the bunch offset now and show you this. This is absolute beauty, especially this play double post. Absolutely gorgeous. You get, definitely should check that out. If you haven't yet, link is in the description. It's just going to plug that because this really is, ma makes offense so easy, even easier than it is already. And I can promise you this will elevate your game just by running this. Go into practice mode, run these setups a couple of times and you'll get 18 wins a weekend. Easy, 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 easy. But this is not what this is about. This is about the Tesla's Epic Week. And this formation goes beautifully with the Gun Bunch because it is so different. The written down version of it is going to be on my page. I'm not going to break down everything in this video because that will be too much. The video will be too long. For just the price of $5, you can get everything over there. Let's get into it. The first play that I want to break down is the best cover 3 beer in the game by far. And it's not even close. The four verticals. And the beautiful thing about this, I'll just come in and cover 3 bus. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is that it works anywhere on the field. And two wide receivers can get open. We're just going to streak both of our outside wide receivers. I'm going to block the running back. And you will see... I can just throw that. Like, it's just simple. It's just wide open. The reason why this works is because the deep zone reacts to the wheel route. So you will see as that wheel route starts to break up the field, this guy right here, boom, he starts kind of shuffling and that just opens up that window for the streak to get in behind it. And this the middle safety is just not fast enough. Now I want to show you that this also works on the right side. We just have to make sure to not get bumped just like this, just like that. And then we can just laser that over to Lazard. Now what I mean, not get bumped, I'm gonna show you this actually because if we have, let's just say, if we have this guy kind of interacting with Lazard for too long, that means that he's gonna get thrown off his route. This case, again, beautiful, he just gets past him, but we also just get shedded. If he gets off the line quickly, then this also works for my guy Lazard. Now, if we flip uh, the hash mark, I, I just said this works on any hash mark, you will now see how the, uh, the streak on the right is probably not gonna work because we get bumped. Actually, we get bumped just a little bit which still means that this is open but again just know i'm going to be very honest with you there is a chance of the streak on the right not working if the release is not fast enough uh he can just get bumped for a long time as he once again did not get bumped right there but i just want to show you that you can also throw it to adams on this if he gets bumped and he gets a little bit thrown to the outside into the outside third then this is not going to work but as we see right here, there still is a very good chance of it working. Now right there, got bumped a little bit more. Still does not matter. Throw it to Lazard. If you wait a little bit longer, that's even more open as that right there. But if you feel like you're getting shaded, you just have to wait for the DB to kind of... Uh, there we go. We just got bumped for an eternity. Uh, if you feel like you're getting shaded, you just have to wait until that DB just kind of reacts to that wheel route and then as soon as that happens the wide receiver is pretty much past him so i'm gonna throw this one more time just to really show you that he got bumped again just to really hammer home that point as that was even very bad pocket if you're gonna throw it across the field like that that's not the safest throw in the world i wouldn't probably throw that in the game but right here it worked i just want to show you that this is how you usually want to throw oh, Unless we get shattered. Anyways, you guys see how this works. Let's cut to the next play. Now, the next play I'm going to show you is a way to beat cover 2. And this is one of the best cover 2 beaters that I've found this year because it's so consistent, but so easy. We're going to call the play Flood, and we're going to come out in Tampa 2, of course, on defense. Now, the way you want to run this is you want to run this with the running back aligned to the short side of the field, meaning that whichever side of the quarterback the running back is on, on that side, there is less space to the sideline than on the other side. In this case, boom. We're on the, the running back is to the short side of the field. Now, all you need to do for this is you need to, just need to slant Thielen. Now, in Ultimate Team, I have a slot apprentice wide receiver there, which means that I like to put him on a post. This also works with a post. Then I'm going to put my, Kel my Kelsey, my talent on a delay fade, and I'm going to slant Lazard. Now, I'm going to snap this ball, and I'm going to try to look to get to the outside to the right. And as soon as I see that the safety is kind of uh, dragged down. And the mid read, I actually want to show you this because this is important to understand how this works. Mid reads, they carry this post from time to time and they actually carry it for quite a while. So you're gonna see this guy right here is in a mid read. 
And he just goes with the post, dude. He just goes with the post. But then as soon as he breaks off, that's the point where you want to throw it. Now, you want to get into practice mode to get this timing down perfectly. But for now, I'm just going to do the same thing again. Okay, this time I'm going to run it with a slant. Going to snap this ball. Going to try to get to the outside. And you can see he stutters and then I can throw this. Now, it can wait even a little bit longer because uh, my guy and Rogers has just insane throw power. But you want to be aware of that timing so you can make the throw as easy as possible. So once again, I'm going to roll out to the right and then boom. Throw this ball. Absolutely laser it. I want to just show you that you need, you need the slant or the post because otherwise this won't work. So it's just I, I'm just going to block the tight end on this and you will see how the zone gets back there. So you need kind of a zone to attract attention. You can maybe try to ag him like that, but that's not going to be consistent. Now, so far, I've only shown you cover three beaters. I want to show you a play that you can run against cover three on pretty much any down, which is going to be the smash spot. So now I'm going to come in and cover three once again on defense. This is how the play looks stock. And the setup that you're going to go for is you're going to put the uh, Adams on a flat, Thielam on a slant, out route on Kelsey, and that's the setup. Once again, the running back is to the short side. I'm going to snap this ball. First read should always be this. Wheel route, you can throw that even that far up the field this year because zones are so terrible. Throw that possession, catch that. You can even try to rack catch it if you feel confident and if you got enough space, basically. But that's not the only thing about this play. You can also look to hit that post route. It is, again, I threw that a little bit late right there. We can throw that early and make it uh, a lot more open. One more time, gonna do the same thing. Boom, 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 boom. So now you can see, oof. Got a pressure and accurate. One more time. I, I really want to hammer this point home that you can throw uh, you can throw this post route. So once again, this is a setup. Snap the ball. And then cool. As soon as he passes that middle third, throw that possession, catch it, aggressive catch it. I prefer, to be quite honest with you, I prefer the aggressive catch. So just to make sure that uh, we cut in front of the DB just like this. Oh my god, he actually dropped that. Um, but you see that this is open and we can throw that. Now the last read on this play is going to be the slant. I'm going to snap this ball. Running back is open right here. And now this slant is also open in that nice little window. This is a, this is the perfect play to beat cover 3 pretty much. If they're running cover 3, you'll have something open. Uh, but yeah. There are a lot of more setups to beat cover 3 uh, in my ebook. And cover 3 is the most important uh, play to know how to beat against uh, on offense. Because that is what most people are running. This play will do it for you, but there are ways to adjust to this. And if you want to get a little bit more of an in-depth breakdown on how to beat cover three, just pay five bucks and you'll get the whole ebook over on my pay. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This might be the best complimentary piece to the Gun Bunch offset that you can imagine because it is so different. When we think about Gun Bunch, we have a solo wide receiver and we have sort of a trips look, bunched up trips on the other side. And you have a lot of crossing routes. This is not really that we're attacking more out of the backfield and we are attacking more with some deep posts, which are very different. Now, there are still some similar concepts. Of course, you can't change everything about a passing offense, but it is so different. You have to attack it in such a different way from a defensive standpoint that it's just it's just a pain in the ass, basically, to go to flip in between bunch and tight slots. So if you want to get the full doses of the heavy pass offense, make sure to get the Tight slots ebook over on my pay app. And if you really want to improve your game to the next level, then if you want, you can pay the $20 on jtips.net from which I get a, a huge cut. Uh, and that might, might also be worth it. If you really want to take that next step, of course, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. This one, however, will get you a nice head start. And just because the plays are so simple, yet so effective, you can really start dominating some. Now that's enough of plugging. I'm sorry, guys. Let me know in the comments if this is too much. But I hope you guys learned something from this. I think this might be the best combination of bunch offset and tie slots. Like I said, any year pretty much because the plays are so different and the plays are so unique. Till next time, goodbye, guys. See you in the next video. I love you all so much. Peace out.